That is for Deen, Al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for Dhik, remembering Allah, and Ra is for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan. That is for Zakah, to cure our greed, when we give our money to those in need. That is for Salamun Alaikum. Peace be with you. Wa We thank Allah for the blessing of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. We are all doing well. I'm sure most of us are enjoying ourselves. Most of the time before Ramadan, you know how we used to hit three times daily, even some four or five. Alhamdulillah, Ramadan has come to regulate our body. We are more healthier. May Allah accept our Ramadan for us. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, the role of Sakat administrator. In most cases, people don't appreciate the role of the Sakat administrators. In fact, many people decide to distribute their own Sakat on their own for the fact that they feel they will do it better. The first important thing we need to know is that Sakat administrator is enshrined in the Quran. If you go through Quran 9, Surah Tauba, verse 60, Allah specifically mentioned the role of the Sakat administrators when Allah said, Inna ma sadaqat, li fukoro, wa li masakin, wa li hamilina haleha. That the Sakat that you are to pay, the beneficiaries of these Sakat include the poor, the needy, and this administrators of Sakat. That's the third beneficiaries. That's the first that emphasize that we need to have Sakat administrators. It is not that we have to distribute our Sakat by ourselves. That's not right. If you go to the history of Islam, you will see this institution that we are talking about that first of all, we used to appoint Sakat collectors. They will go around to evaluate the Sakat payers and they will collect their Zakat. And when they collect the Zakat, they will bring it down to Professor Salam, who will ask the Sakat to be put in what to call by tomorrow, while the Sakat are being kept. And from birth to mall, Sakat will be given out to the rightful beneficiaries from time to time. This underlines the very first important role of the Sakat administrators in the Asmitin Sakat. They have to go out to the Sakat payers, to the Sakat payers such that they will assist them in calculating their Zakat. They are the professionals that know how to calculate the zakat. And that's why we have your foundation, Zakat and Saraka Foundation. They are very much available to assist you in calculating your zakat. When they go out to calculate the zakat, they will call it encourage zakat payers to pay attention to the nitty gritty of zakat calculation. If you are doing it for the first time, it will be very advisable that you seek support of professionals like us to assist you. And if you so wish, you can listen to our various lectures on how to calculate the zakat and calculate your zakat and transfer the zakat to us for effective distribution and disbursement. So the zakat and the state of force rule include enlightenment on zakat calculation, how to get correct figure, items that are zakatable, the items that are not zakatable, all these are the role of zakat administrator to ensure that people know what to pay and they should not underpay the zakat. So that's the first role of the zakat administrator. The second important role of zakat administrator is to ensure that Sakat items are not mismanaged when it is collected. They are well managed until when they are distributed to the rightful owners. From the collector to the 
zakat administrator they must protect the zakat items such that those items must not get lost in transit they must protect it as much as possible to ensure that it doesn't get missing it is not acceptable to say i collect zakat of a cow or of a ram or of a cash and you come to come and say that item is lost it's not acceptable you have to do everything humanly possible to ensure you create a credible channel for the safety of zakat collection and that's why at zakat and zakat foundation we don't ask for cash you rather transfer your money to our account and as soon as we get the money and you have the details receipt must be given for the amount given uh, for the amount collected when the zakat payer goes out to collect the zakat they are not expected to collect gift from the zakat payer or transport money or any item of such to say this is my own the zakat payer has paid one million naira zakat and has given me hundred thousand naira for transportation no it's not acceptable both the one million and hundred thousand naira collected must be ported must be put there as item of zakat collected it's not to say this is for me there was an incident in the lap of the prophet when one of the sahaba collected the zakat and when he got to the prophet he said this is the zakat and this one is for me the prophet frowned at him and said what why are you to stay in your own house we will have gotten this one that you call your own and that's why both the zakat collected and any other gift given to the zakat administrator must be reported and they must have record that shows that this is the amount of zakat collected every day as they are collecting they must make sure it's well recorded having recorded all the zakat you don't also just sit down and be looking at the amount in your pocket before disbursement of this zakat these items that you have with you you must be taking care of them you have a cow you have animal you must be feeding them you must be checking their i mean state of their health it's not to be negligent about it and say one cow die why must a cow die you must make sure you are feeding them you are checking on them making sure all the items are well kept if you collect an item like machine you don't go and dump it somewhere you have to be maintaining that machine polishing needs making sure the equipment is in right order so that when the beneficiary come they will see the item of sakat even better than the way you have collected it so you are custodian of that sakat until when it's distributed that's one of the important aspects of sakat administrator in sakat collection also it's important to know that the beneficiaries must be well selected we must identify what the applicant for the zakat need it is not everybody that come to say i want zakat that must be given the zakat you must push out for the applicants to know what is required to collect zakat from your zakat foundation in our own case we have rules and regulations that stipulate what is expected for applicant to submit to us one of the important thing is the applicant must write a letter of request and state clearly what and what that applicant need state what you need and you should be able to justify that this is what i need having sent in your letter of application you must attach important document like your nin so that we will be able to know that we are dealing with the correct person and it's called allow us to have record of the applicants now after submitting that you must give us reference letter from an imam or from a pastor or from a community leader that we can say they are righteous people or people that have proven integrity you can't collect reference letter from just anybody all these are put together to identify the rightful beneficiaries of zakat we equally have second stage after submission of the application you will come for interview the applicant will come for interview and our panel of interviewer will ask him 
quite a number of questions to be sure that the needs are genuine. And when these are genuine, then we arrange how to ensure the items are given. When the items are being given, we have to cross check that do you have a place where to keep those items? It's not enough to say, I want a deep freezer with a generator and so on and so forth. We want to see where will the generator be? And we equally have what we call monitoring and evaluation personnel that will now go around to ensure that judicious use of the item given out so that we don't want that person to return back to poverty once the person has gotten item of zakat that's supposed to empower him or to assist him in one way or the other. For medical support, most of the time we have to pay to the hospital, the portable hospital, government hospital, and those hospitals that have proven themselves to be worthy of relating with. There are some hospitals in our community that we don't relate with them because of sharp practices. So these people, this hospital who are being given the money directly and we are going to monitor that the patient is well taken care of. These are